uh, even before his time, the greatest legendary social reformer Peria tried his innovative and courageous Dravidian movement to do to to uh, to modernize the Tamil language through his unique style of writing and speaking. These two legends, Periyar and Anna, were uh, driven by many Western scholars who had interest in Tamil language. Uh, just to give you um, a few examples, the ones that are uh, personally and passionately connected to me are the Italian-born Jesuit priest, um, Besky, who in fact became in Tamil Virama Munivar. Uh, the second one is the Irish-born congregational missionary Robert Caldwell. Um, and uh, the third one, the Canadian Lutheran missionary G.U. Pope, uh, whose father was uh, from Padstow, Cornwall, which is where uh, I am actually living closer by Cornwall, uh, that's called uh, Devon. Now, these people went to Tamil Nadu, my homeland, India, for missionary service. They started to learn Tamil for their missionary work, but he ended up exploring and sharing the rich treasures of Tamil language and its classically opulent literature to the world. Now, uh, their discovery, research, and the contribution or, contribution or acknowledged by UNESCO and the Indian government. The Tamils with the Dravidian stock are quite distinct in some way, more ancient than the Aryans who appeared on the scene quite late. Now, their life and work uh, have given the sense of pride and identity to 77 million Tamils, one of the oldest and largest ethnic linguistic cultural groups in the modern world. These great men uh, engulfed their life with a lot of determination to give their best to the people, language, and culture that they found themselves in. Uh, there are also other British and Western officials, uh, scholars who try to bring the ancient Tamil manuscripts to print and to make them available to the rest of the world. But it needs to be also acknowledged uh, that there are uh, many local native Tamil scholars who in fact played a huge role in research and writing of Tamil language. But they could not do it all by themselves without um, uh, either direct or indirect support from the Westerners. And so uh, the, the Tamil language was known to the rest of the world, mainly through these Christian missionaries. Uh, in fact, one could say that uh, Christian missionaries and the global fame of Tamil language are two sides of the same coin. Now, whatever I have just said, uh, form part of uh, my answer to your question. With these sorts of rich history, through my experience, both in India as well as Britain, I have found we Tamils are generally very intelligent, creative, and terribly, but terribly behind on uh, emotional level. 